Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a food and a household shopping haul. I'm a little off schedule because, you know, the company and trying to figure out how to get all the shopping done. So what I did was basically get stuff, I guess, for like the rest of this week. And right now it is Thursday and um, I might be able to roll quite a bit of this off into next week, but I'm not sure on the meals. I'll explain all that. Um, and I also got a bunch of household stuff over on the table. So starting off, um, I just got some lean ground beef for burgers one night. Um, Jackson likes them and, um, I just decided just to have that as a simple dinner one night. I also got some of the Better with Cheddars. I know these aren't the healthiest, but you know, they need stuff for lunch and different things, and it's hard to find things my entire family enjoys. They like these a lot. I also got some little Smokies, and I plan on fixing these as a brunch over the weekend sometime. Um, I also got some thick cut cherry wood smoked bacon. Now I got this for a pear brie and bacon sandwich and um, it's very thick so that's nice. I got some prosciutto because I'm a prosciutto girl and I love this and a lot of times I'll eat it with good cheeses or I'll just get some and eat it on its own. It's so delicious. I, I don't think I could live without it. I got some sirloin tips steak and it's just thin and I'm going to do like a beef and noodles so I'm just going to you know slice these um, up myself into little like beef tips and we'll have that for dinner one night more of a you know a bigger family style dinner um, and the other night um, for dinner I'm going to do a roasted chicken that I already have I needed some vegetables um, to use in you know that but I'm going to do the roasted chicken. Scott is talking about going out to dinner tonight. So I'm not sure. Um, but maybe they will carry us into next week. It would be wonderful um, with the stuff we have in the freezer and the stuff, you know, to go on and get us through. I got a, um, a frozen meal. This is just one of the stopers um, for a quick lunch for myself sometime during the week if I want it. But um, that's for me. I got the um, golden crinkles for the night we have those burgers. I also got just some of the Simply Potatoes for the night we have um, the, or for the day we have the brunch with the little Smokies. Over here, I have just some white potatoes that I can either mash for something or I can um, um, use for, you know, any dinner we have. So I got those, or the, what I was thinking of was the um, chicken. Sorry, I'm just going blank. Um, I also got some organic gala apples um, for Jackson and myself. I got some of the hydroponic um, better lettuce. This is really good lettuce. I love it. You can see, well, usually you can see the roots and everything. Um, but this is great lettuce. I got it for burgers and some little side salads. I picked up some tomatoes. An onion, some of the sweet Georgia carrots, and these were so good um, when I made them last, when I used them um, in the, what did I use them in? In the beef roast. They were delicious. I got lots of pears for that pear and brie sandwich, but also to snack on, so love those. Um, and Scott went um, to the grocery store a few nights ago and got some stuff. He got Jackson a fresh pineapple and some other fruits and vegetables. So I didn't need to really get a ton. These things tend to go bad a little bit quicker and I don't like to buy, you know, a lot of bulk fruit and vegetables. Um, I don't know if I showed the tomatoes, but I think I did. I got tomatoes too. Back here, I got um, a couple SpaghettiOs with meatballs for Jackson, a very cherry... Every once in a while, I like this, and just one beef ravioli. Then, again, for Jackson, I got him some of the hot fudge Pop-Tarts. I know it's not the healthiest. He didn't eat except one because, you know, there's only, what, eight? There's only four packets, and we had, you know, little kids here, and Laura and Scott, everybody loves Pop-Tarts in my house except me. Um, but I got Jackson some more because he didn't have very many. I got some good coffee. Now, that cheap coffee, oh, my gosh. It just doesn't work for me that well. Um, and I just got some good coffee. I had a coupon, and I went for it. Um, back here, I also got some olive oil because I was running low. I got a case of Mountain Dew, and I got this because um, Scott and I still like it. I am trying to drink more water and drink a little, you know, 
a little better and not have so much sugar and everything. I am, I, I counted up like seven Mountain Dews in one day and that was like, oh my God, my best friend was like, you're eating all the calories you're supposed to, you're drinking all the calories that you're supposed to be eating and then you're eating on top of it. So I'm down to like three a day ish, maybe four, um, but I'm getting there, but I got some more. I got Jackson some Cheetos. Scott wanted some um, um, queso, so he, I got him this. This is the Monterey Jack and some chips to go with it. Um, Jackson's been making his own rub, so I got three different kinds of lunch meat. I got the black forest ham, the, the chicken breast, and the oven roasted turkey breast. Now, I was going to stand um, in the deli and wait, but it was so full, I was like, yeah, I was just over it, so I went and got these. I got one of um, the boxes of the onion soup mix because I love, love, love these in the hamburgers. I got some just thin spaghetti. A big thing of sour cream because my family loves it. I also got just some of the white wheat bread. You guys have seen me get this for a long time if you've been watching my channel. It's about as healthy as my family wants to get. Um, and I got Jackson some more of the flour tortillas. I wish these were the Trader Joe's, but I didn't feel like going and it's too far and um, we're just living with those. I got another loaf of bread. Now this is for the pear and brie sandwiches um, and also like some French toast, whatever. We will definitely use this loaf first before we start going into that one because this one will go bad faster. Um, I also got some eggs um, because we were running low. I got two packages of the chicken flavored pasta side dishes. These um, I haven't had in a long time, and I just think they're a great little extra for your dinner um, if you're looking for something quick. And I grabbed a bunch of brown gravy because I'm going to use some with the beef tips and noodles, and I also like to have some just on hand. So that is everything I got food-wise. It's not a ton. Again, Scott just went, and um, I really needed to go get more household stuff than food. At least that's the way it felt. But I got what I thought would get us through. Now let's go on over to the household stuff. So here we are over at the table, and I got actually less stuff than what I normally get. Um, so I actually saved in this department too. Um, now I got rid of that really big garbage can and you might've not known that because I got rid of the footage on my day in the life blog, but the big garbage can that used to go right here, I got rid of it. I put a smaller one in the pantry that I had upstairs, but I needed another smaller one. So I got this one today. It's just, you know, your typical 13 gallon black, um, garbage can. And that will be our kitchen garbage can and Jackson's new chore. So, um, back here for the cats, I just got them some of the Perina One Indoor Balance, and I'm sure they will eat it up. I also got a large box of the Friskies Tasty Treasures, um, and it's got, you know, some different flavors. The cats are very picky, but they do eat that. Um, I got Cooper more of the Pure Balance canned food, um, because um, it's grain free and helping with the seizures. I also got some more goldfish food for the little goldfish that are still living. If you watch this channel, you know my fish tank like took a big hit this year and um, we, they're still living, the ones that we had. I got Cooper some more of the full moon chicken jerky. It's human grade ingredients and there's no wheat or soy or anything in it and it's just basically dehydrated chicken. So um, I'm happy that, um, you know, they had that this time. Sometimes they run out, at least in my store. I got a big package of Bounty paper towels. But looky here, I'm a sucker and I saw these. These are Bounty with Dawn and they have Dawn, see, within the paper towel and it's water activated and it four times cleaner services. I'd say so. Now, I can't leave these out like on the counter because, you know, my husband will sometimes dampen a paper towel and wipe, you know, my cat's eyes out if they get like gooey. Um, and um, he will probably pick this up by mistake. So it's gonna have to remain like under the sink, but I thought I would try these out. If you guys have tried them out, let me know. I also got some cotton nail back tissue, um, you know, because we were running low. Instead of getting wipes, I went back to the Clorox disinfecting wipes one for each bathroom. And that way we have some, you know, quick cleanup um, little um, wipes that are disinfecting. And I love that. 
I've been trying all natural laundry soap and because my skin has been sensitive, but it's not made a difference. So I went ahead, I got another cheer. It's one of my favorites. And um, yeah, it is what it is. I needed some more bleach, so I got that. I also got some of the downy infusions. This one in Lavender Serenity is one of my favorite scents. I needed more dish soap. I decided to try the Dawn Platinum. I don't know. I guess it kind of stood out. And, um, yeah. I didn't need dishwashing soap. Scott picked that up for me on his shopping trip that I was just telling you guys about. I happened to run by these at the end of an aisle. And they're like little owl pillowcases. How cute. So I thought they'd look cute on my bed. And um, there's only one in each. And, hmm. I thought they were cute, and they are wrinkle resistant. They're the soft microfibers, and they're smooth and soft, it says. So it might help my crazy hair. Um, so I got two of those for the garbage can in the kitchen. Um, I went ahead and got these, the Force Flex, because Scott takes the garbage a lot of times to the dump um, on his own, and um, he wants garbage. He wants bags that are not going to like tear and leak in his car. So. I got the Force Flex and I got a big box and um, yeah, hopefully those work. Scott needed more spray gel and Jackson, so I got that for them. I decided to try the Maybelline Knit Bit Me, the Matte and Poreless. This one's in 115 Ivory because I'm pretty pale still. And I used to love the Dewy Smooth one. I loved it like a few summers back and I just wanted to try it, so I got that. When I dyed my hair darker, I wasn't crazy about it at all, and I didn't really say anything. I was just kind of feeling it out. Don't really like it, so I went back and got um, this one, and this one is in very light natural blonde, and my hair is somewhere around here, I'm thinking, so it will lighten it up, um, and I got that. I needed some more toothpaste um, with the coffee and everything, you know, stains happen, and I've got this one. Got the Rembrandt, and I got um, Jackson and I new toothbrushes. Scott uses an electric one, but these are the 3D white, and it comes with crisscross bristles, and it whitens between teeth. I don't know. Um, I had um, the electric toothbrush. I'm not too fond of it, um, so I got those. I needed some more bobby pins, and I got the blonde because my hair, you know, is pretty light, and after I use that. I'm going to be putting it up a little bit more, and I keep losing bobby pins, but I'm going to put these in a, um, and this is 90 piece. I'm going to put these in, like, a little mason jar, and hopefully I won't lose them or, you know, something, like a Tupperware container or something. And then I got two of these cutting boards. Um, these are the Exacto Craft Tool um, Self-Healing Cutting Mat. And it heals cut marks to retain high quality surface over the lifetime of the mat. I got two. They're going to go on my desk. I really got these for more stamping than cutting because you want it softer. And these are pretty soft. Um, I like that you got the inches and everything on it. So, yeah, I got those for my desk. And I should have maybe just looked for one large one, but I got that instead. I almost forgot I also got this book. Now, I was just browsing. I don't know what I was doing. But I was standing in the book aisle, and this book kept screaming out to me, and it's To Heaven and Back by Mary C. Neal, she's a doctor, and it's a doctor's extraordinary account of her death, heaven, angels, and life again, a true story. It's a number one New York bestseller. There she is. And um, I'm going to read it. Maybe we could do maybe a... Um, book club or such if you've read this you can let me know what you think in the comments also um but i'm probably going to come back and review it and um do a giveaway so yeah. so that is everything i got i don't think i forgot anything i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing you know this household and grocery haul it's quite different because um, normally they would be separated, but hey, we're just kind of going with the flow and making things work. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. If you enjoyed this video, please take a minute to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. Um, and I will see you guys very, very soon.